What's up guys? Toast again from Fish Yacker, continuing on with our Ned Rig Challenge. This time I have the Nico Helgramite, their 3-inch Helgramite. This is supposed to be a really cool lure. It's supposed to be similar to the Z-Man Elastec, soft plastic, super stretchy, super durable. They say this stuff is, uh, I guess, is a biodegradable and uh, super stretchy and you can catch like 100 fish off of each lure. But we're going to go ahead and stick one on that Ned Rig style mushroom jig head and see how these look in the tank. So guys, there is just a standard Matsuo Ned Rig style mushroom jig head. Same one I've been using in all the tests. We're going to use the same tank just like the others to see which ones act the best, perform the best, have a nice buoyancy and fall rate. Uh, thing to keep in mind with these because they're really thin profile is to make sure you're using a wire hook and uh, jig head keeper here like this or no keeper at all on it. Maybe glue it on. Uh, because the uh, profile of these, you don't want to go in and make it bulge out or, uh, you know, even rip. So let's go ahead and open them up. Again, uh, you can pick these up for about 6 or $7, something like that for a pack of them. But they're supposed to be super durable. Uh, the packaging here, again, Nico, it's a Japanese company. It's from uh, Tokyo. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, degradable. And I guess they say that you can actually... Uh, uh, you know, be okay if a fish even swallows, an animal will swallow it. Doesn't get hard like a lot of other soft plastics. But, uh, like I said, it's supposed to be similar to that Elaz Tech from Z-Man. Uh, so I'm just now opening these up. It's cool. It's got a nice, you know, clean, really kind of basic kind of black on clear print package there. The 3-inch Helgramite. It's cool. It's got like Japanese printing and stuff on it too. I guess that is. Not that I can tell the difference anyway, but uh, anywho, four pack, there's one of them uh, right out of the package. You can tell the appendages on it are really, you know, have some action to it. So basically compared to a Ned Rig, you're going to get all these appendages on it and uh, get some more action on it. Just have a little bit of scent to it. And this one here is supposed to be the green pumpkin. So it's a good natural color to it. Uh, again, our thin profile, almost got like 3D print of a... Actual Helgramite, if you're familiar with those. So these are great for large mouth, especially small mouth on the rivers like here on the Susquehanna. The material is supposed to be super stretchy. Wow, that stuff really is. Look at that. It almost has consistency, kind of feel of like gummy worm or something. Woo, woo, woo. Really flexy. That stuff's cool. Uh, it's got a nice little wiggle to it. But I'm going to take it. I'm just going to put the Ned head jig head on it uh see how it goes in again like i mentioned you got to be careful with these if you use a standard like lead lead ball jig head for instance uh you actually can get this to bulge it out and you can really damage the soft plastics but uh basically what they advertise is you can rig these any way you want to and there's really a uh, no wrong way to do it you can run them Pretty much anything. Heck, jig heads, ball jig heads, uh, Ned jig heads, wacky rig, you name it, anything, and you can't go wrong. So there you go. Got it on the jig head. I'll tell you, this stuff is super, super durable, and uh, it's got a lot of stretch. I like the pliability, but it's hard to put a hook through this stuff. This stuff is almost like trying to punch something through Kevlar or something. Uh, this stuff is... Uh, I can tell already it's almost indestructible. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, tie it on, throw it in the tank, and see if this thing likes to stand up or lay flat or how slow of a, a fall rate it has or tip rate. And uh, consider uh, what this might look like compared to a Z-Man or any of the other soft plastic Ned rigs we've been playing around with.
go, the three inch Nico Helgramite in green pumpkin. What do I think? I like it a lot. Uh, it almost stands up too much. Yeah, it's got a perfectly vertical presentation. Only when you're actually moving it, dragging it, does it actually lower a little bit. Don't get me wrong, if you want something that has that vertical presentation, again, like your Ned Rigs are supposed to, you're not going to beat this. I got to tell you, this probably has a more vertical presentation than Z-Man does. It says a lot, because that's really, again, the... Uh, the standard to go by when you're looking at Ned Riggs, right? They're the ones that made it, you know, viable in the industry. This really keeps up with that. It's got those appendages, has a little bit of action in those appendages. If you have some current, of course, that's going to get a lot more action in there. So if I can only imagine a little bit of current, you put this thing vertically in there, these appendages are going to vibrate a little bit. It might get a little bit more lean to it. But yeah, this is going to have a presentation just like a dying bait fish, Helgramite, something like that along the bottom, uh, or a crawfish. But yeah, it's got a vertical presentation. This thing is like spot on. This stuff is amazingly buoyant. Uh, yeah, I could probably work on top water, right? I'm sure guys have done that too. This stuff really does do a number on that Ned Rig jig head, on that mushroom jig head. I like them a lot. For smallmouth, really, come on guys. Helgramites are really crack for smallmouth anyway, right? Especially here on the Susquehanna River where we fish here. Uh, this is super durable. You saw just because the problems I was having just trying to get the hook into it. You can imagine fish aren't going to tear this thing up. Um, what I would say do with this maybe is uh, cut a little bit off of the head if you're going to use that uh, mushroom jig head. But uh, heck, you could put it on a ball head. I might even try that out next time. Show you again, this thing will still, I'm sure, sit up perfectly vertical pretty much. But uh, with that, that flat jig head, straight up and down, guys. So if you're looking for that Ned Rig presentation, check these out. Again, they're Nico. You can find them all over there online. Ask your local dealer if they don't carry them to, to get them. They're from Japan. Uh, and yeah, that's some cool stuff, guys. And I like it. Kind of a clear, kind of greenish color. Uh, they got some natural colors, too. Some fading two-tones. A lot of different options to get. But uh, cool, like really kind of basic presentation here in the packaging too. I like that. Not super flashy, but yeah, you get them, keep them back in there, keep them fresh, zip lock them right back up, uh, and you'll be good to go. So they're from Nico, 3-inch Helgramites. You can't go wrong, guys, especially if you're going for smallmouth. Heck, that's crack for smallmouth. All right, guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to give us that thumbs up. Share this video on all your social media outlets. Share it on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and everywhere else. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Fish Yacker YouTube channel, and we'll catch you on the water. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.